Hello guys, this is Chef Kovas with Big and Tierra and today we're going to be making roasted red peppers hummus. Okay, for this recipe we're going to need 5 cups of chickpeas. You can use, I, I use uh, canned chickpeas but you can use a uh, fresh one. What you got to do is you got to soften them in the pressure cooker first and so you can make it. But usually most of the people use uh, canned chickpeas or garbanzo, whatever you want to call it. Then you're going to need a quarter, quarter cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice. You need, you're going to need about five garlic cloves, the big ones. It's equal to about a quarter cup of garlic. Uh, red roasted peppers, which we already previously grilled. If you don't have a grill, you can roast them in the oven, okay? And you're gonna need some olive oil, about three tablespoons of olive oil, tahini paste. I bought this one in Publix. I think this is the only store that kind of sells them like that. Publix, but you can find them in Publix, tahini paste. About two tablespoons tahini paste, about one teaspoon of uh, cumin, ground cumin, and uh, one teaspoon of uh, kosher salt, right? So now I'm going to show you guys how we grill these uh, roasted peppers. Okay guys, we're back here. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take a robot cook. In order to make this recipe, you need a robot cook. You can use a bullet, don't throw bullet, but you gotta, you cannot make so, as much as the one I'm making. So you're gonna take your garlic, you're gonna match it down with a knife. You gotta be careful when you do this, don't cut yourself, okay? it up and you're going to put it in a little pan again this is five garlic cloves the big ones about a quarter a quarter cup of garlic And you go, you're gonna put your pan on the medium heat. I'm gonna put, throw about two, two to three tablespoons of olive oil. 
I do it by hand because I already know the measurement, okay? And I'm gonna rust this a little bit. So it's not, the flavor is not that strong. You can always put it in the oven too if you like with a little olive oil. But I just do it like this, all right? And you're gonna take your chickpeas, about five cups. Make sure your chickpeas are dry, okay? They gotta be completely dry. No, no water, no liquid, no nothing. Take your lemon juice, put a cup of fresh lemon juice, throw it in there. You're gonna take your roasted peppers, red roasted peppers. Make sure the pepper has no water. Make sure you squeeze them, squeeze them a little bit, okay? So get all the excess, excess water. The reason we're not putting any liquid in the chickpeas is because the roasted pepper, they have a lot of water inside. So if you pull, if you add liquid to it, it's gonna be, it's just gonna be too runny, okay? I'm gonna take your salt, take your pulses salt. Okay, and you're gonna put in about a teaspoon of kosher salt. Put it in there. Okay, I'm gonna take your tahini paste. Tahini paste is sesame, sesame paste, that's what it is. Just in case you guys don't know that. Okay. One tablespoon. You got two tablespoons of tahini. Then you're gonna grab your, your cumin. Okay, you're gonna put about one teaspoon of cube, right? If you like to add some heat or make it spicy, you can put a little bit of cayenne pepper in here. Okay. You're gonna take about two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay guys, while you got, you, are, you got that working, you gotta get your roasted garlic, okay? Cook it down a little bit, so it's not so strong once you put them in the hummus. You wanna get them golden brown. You don't wanna cook it too much because then it's gonna get all hard. Just enough so it's not that strong. Okay, that's good right there. chunks of peppers in there so but you gotta make sure the chickpeas are nice and smooth 
So that way when you eat it with your pita bread or your vegetable, it doesn't have a weird texture. All right, guys, that's it. This is your roasted pepper hummus. I like to eat mine with uh, cucumber slice, red pepper slice, and pita bread, of course. There we go. Hope you enjoy. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, subscribe for my channel. If you guys would like uh, me to make any videos or any vegan food, just let me know. Write a comment down below, and uh, I'll, I'll get back to you guys, okay? Thank you for watching. God bless.